On this quick show, we're going to talk about EQ settings, time correction, crossover points, all in the new AVH head units built on the NEX platform. Check Watch it, it now! Cool. So, Pioneer decided with the success of NEX and all the cool features it has, was to add it to all their radios. And they all of them. All of them. So what we're going to show you today is some of those features if you've never seen them before. So here we go. Let's get to the demo. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on a source. Then once you're on a source, go ahead and hit the gear. Come over here and click the radiating speaker. Did you know that's what that was? Oh. Ooh. Okay, go ahead and click on graphic EQ. Again. Again. Uh, you'll notice you have super bass, powerful, natural, vocal, flat, custom 1 and 2, which are pretty standard. For, regular. Yep. Yeah. All right, so to set it, just tap it, drag Ooh. your finger across. Yeah, sexy. All right, now let's go on to the next feature, balance and fader. It's going to work the same way. Just move your finger anywhere you want around there. Um, and then we'll go up to mute level, uh, source level, which is only used for anything other than FM. You can turn the subwoofer on and off. And then, of course, your speaker level. This will allow you to adjust the volume to each speaker. Pretty mm -hmm. crazy as well as your subwoofer volume control is over here. Awesome. Buried. Uh, so if you hit the little star guy there, it'll be there when you need it. And we'll go back and we'll roll up. Crossover. Crossovers. These are a biggie. You have front, rear, or rear front subwoofer. And to set them, you just simply drag your finger across as well as move this up and down. And what it'll do is it'll change the frequency, frequency. here and the crossover slope there. Sexy, huh? Six. And of course you can change the phase of the subwoofer right there. I don't want to. You don't want to? You don't want to make it an upside down pie? Yeah. No. Alright. Uh, subwoofer settings basically takes you back to the subwoofer crossover. Kind of redundant feature, but it's there. Listening position. You can just pick where you want to sit in the car. Personally, oh. I like to sit there and let someone else drive me around. But hey, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, that'll take us to time alignment. Time alignment allows you to adjust the distance between where you're sitting and that particular speaker. You can, it's in centimeters, so you'll have to convert it over, which is kind of bizarre, but whatever. Um, I smell a software update. Um, you just touch. Now, for those of you that don't feel like doing that, you can make, you can use this guy right here, which is the auto EQ feature. You just need Pioneer's little cool microphone to plug in and do it. Um, and then, of course, you can make your custom ones. Okay. And then we'll go down. You have bass boost. I strongly recommend leaving that off. And then you have loudness. You have three Low, tones of loudness. High. Yep. And that's about it for that. That's awesome. So now do you feel confident oh, you can use the EQ? Cool. Yeah, I can do that now. Yeah? Awesome. Yeah. Well, you can too now because you sat through this. How exciting could it possibly be? Yeah, just watch the video. Yeah, right? Okay, guys. Well, we hope that helped. Uh, we hope you enjoy your new Pioneer product. If you're thinking about getting one, by all means, get one. Go see your local retailer. I'm sure they got them in stock. Come and see us. Yeah, drive to Florida and come see us. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot warmer here than it is where you're at. <laughs> yes. All right, we do this twice a week. Monday and Thursdays. And you can find us on the YouTubes as well as the Facebooks. Five Star Car Stereo. That's right. Like us, love us. Like him. Yeah. All right, ready? Some, I'm out of here. Okay, let's go. Don't forget your phone. I'm good. <laughs>